What's up guys, my name is Dynasty, got for y'all today another Mortal Kombat video. Today we're discussing the Mortal Kombat film being produced by James Wan, dropping in 2021, the reboot if you will. It's been over a month since we last discussed this new Mortal Kombat movie, and since then a lot has happened, and we have to discuss it because I think a lot of this stuff is super cool and kind of got swept under the rug, and I don't think a lot of you guys have even seen it. Like, for instance, the dude that plays the role of Kano, Josh Lawson, uploaded two clips of him practicing and wielding a dagger knife just like Kano, going through the motions of Kano. I think it's super cool. Also, the same thing can be said about the other actors in the movie. For instance, you have CC Stringer, who's playing Melina, doing the exact same thing, uploading clips of her training as Melina, have, you know, Lewis Tan boxing just like Cole Turner is meant to be a boxer. So really cool to see these actors practicing their roles on camera. And I can, you know, I, I don't see anyone talking about this. Not to mention, we also have a taste of a few film locations they're using for the movie. So like I mentioned, this video is going to be jam-packed with a bunch of stuff. So grab some popcorn. Got a lot to discuss. With that said, let's break this stuff down. Let's get into it. So first things first, look at our man. Kano right here yes indeed Josh Lawson who is playing the roles Kano you can see in this clip here going to town using what appears to be like a knife a dagger of some sort dude looks you know he has the exact same movement as Kano would he has the exact same swagger I'm loving it like that that's Kano to me um I cannot wait to see how he's gonna look in costume in his attire but this is Kano and I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I'm hoping you guys like it too. I know a lot of you guys are kind of iffy on the cast, but honestly, I'm liking this guy's movements. Like, this looks like Kano. This guy's killing it. So, this clip dropped, I want to say, a few weeks ago. And since then, he's really not posted anything else. But yes, here's a look at Kano right here in action without the attire, if you will. So, I'm so stoked to see this. Now, next, I'm going to show you guys that small clip of Lewis Tan doing some sparring with this guy right here. And this man is, uh, he's got to be Cole Turner at this point. Like, homie's practicing like a boxer. Cole Turner is meant to be a boxer. And I know it's not, like, officially announced. But I think we all kind of know that he's going to be this Cole Turner character. And, yeah, homie looks like a boxer. I can give it to him. This looks like Creed 2.0. So, yo, Lewis Tan, keep doing your thing. I'm excited to see how this uh, actually gets pulled off because initially... Really wasn't too happy with adding a whole new character, but now I'm at least open to the idea. I'm hoping for the best, so I'm trying to be optimistic here. There's Lewis Tan practicing as a boxer for the Mortal Kombat movie, portraying Cole Turner, it appears. Now, let's make our way to Melina. Yes, Melina fans, this one's for you. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying what you've seen so far from CC Stringer. Now, here's a clip of her practicing, I guess you can say right before the video, or excuse me, the movie, started being shot, and I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I know at first, some people were really nervous about her playing a role like Melina because she really didn't have, I guess you can say, a lot of acting experience, like when it came to like her IMDB page, but um, I think she's delivering so far. She seems really passionate about the role. We really don't know how big of a role Molina's gonna play in the film. If the leaks are legit, she's gonna be just like working for Shang Tsung alongside Sub-Zero and Reptile and like hunting the good guys throughout the movie. So will she even have much dialogue? Will she just simply be doing the movements? We don't know what to expect. So I think so far, so good. I mean, matter of fact, just a few days ago, she posted this right here showing off the Molina sides, which I think are super cool. So not too sure those are like the practice size or the actual size in the movie, but regardless, man, I think she's doing the best she can and that's all we can really ask for. Just again, trying to be optimistic with this film, guys, because I do not want this to flop. I do not want bad juju. I, I, this movie needs to be successful. I, I need another Mortal Kombat film in my life and I need it to be good, so. There you have it, CeCe Stringer giving us a glimpse of what to expect when it comes to her role as Molina in the film. Now, speaking of like actors, Makad Brooks, who will be Jax Briggs in the movie, just posted on Instagram a few days ago saying, Fun fact, I've gained 30 pounds for the Mortal Kombat movie and I can't fit in this jacket anymore. And going back to when he first got announced as the actor portraying Jax, I've been saying this guy was born for the role like he fits the bill. Homie's even buffing up, bulking up to be even more like Jax. He seemed so passionate once he got announced to be Jax. So, honestly, I think Makad Brooks is... He's perfect for the role. I know some of you guys don't like him because of his work in Supergirl, which I, I get completely, but I honestly do think that Makad Brooks is giving his everything for this film. I mean, the guy seems very driven and passionate. He's always talking about, you know, hashtag Mortal Kombat, hashtag Jax Briggs. 
dude's owning it, man, and that's really all you can ask for. This entire cast seems to be getting along really great. They they all they're really just embracing Mortal Kombat, and it's just really cool to see. So cannot wait to see how he performs as Jax Briggs, but. That's pretty much all I got for you guys in terms of like actors lately showing off like stuff about the film, you know, bulking up or showing off some training videos. It's pretty much all I got for that side of things. And I think I wait till I get to the production side of things. So writer Greg Russo a few weeks ago came out and said, who would you want to see on the soundtrack? I'm not too sure this was like a request or not, but he's pretty active on Twitter. Now, if you guys have any ideas of what you would want to see in the movie, might want to go ahead and just uh, send a tweet or two because Greg Russo is always active on Twitter. I know a couple months ago when he was finishing up, I think like the final version of the script, he was asking our opinion on a lot of things when it came to like character design and creations and stuff like that. So he was always asking like, okay, what do you guys think of this? What do you think of that? So Greg Russo, I think was actually asking a genuine question like, hey, so what do you guys want to see in the movie? And only thing I could ask for is the initial original Mortal Kombat theme song to be played like one time at the very end of the movie. Uh, that would be really great. That's just an iconic theme song. Like you have to have the Mortal Kombat theme song in the movie, right? I know it's it's super 90s, super corny, super cheesy, but you got to, right? Like recently, I think it was like the Power Rangers movie. They had the theme song on there for like two seconds only. And it was like, really? The very end, you give it to us, it was for like two seconds, or it was like a knockoff or something. I just remember like being super bummed out, super anticlimactic. So I'm hoping that's not the case for this movie. So yes, give me the epic classic theme song at the climax of the film. That would be, that'd be great. I would want that. Maybe you guys don't want that. That for me would just, that, that'd be 10 out of 10. So yes, Greg Russo asking for our help. Send your thoughts his way because chances are maybe he'll use it. So Making our way to a few other things mentioned by producer Todd Gardner. Yes, Todd Gardner is also helping produce this movie, who, uh, that's good. I think Todd Gardner is a great producer. Homie has a lot of experience under his belt, and he tweeted this out a couple of weeks ago. He came out and said, If you look closely, you can see our amazing crew hard at work, hashtag Mortal Kombat. Attached was a picture of them in South Australia, and it's like in the middle of a, I don't know what you'd call this, like a desert area, and there's like a giant mountain right there. Um, you can kind of see like a list of like cars or something like production stuff on like a road underneath the actual mountain But I think they were shooting on top of a mountain because even Lewis Tan around this time also Had a clip of him on top of like a mountain overlooking like this desert So I'm assuming there's gonna be a scene on top of a mountain in the middle of a desert Which is really cool reminds me a lot of like the Armageddon intro if you will um, in front of the pyramid, maybe that's something that's going on. I know they, they mentioned how like the first thing that was recorded for the film was like a giant battle with like hundreds of people, and maybe it was filmed in this like giant desert. I really don't know. Now this next picture though is gonna get you super stoked if you are a diehard Mortal Kombat fan because Todd Gardner came out and said, "What a difference a day makes," and he attached a picture of them shooting in a forest that appears to be like hammocks in the sky or something um you really can't make out much from this other than the fact that they are in a forest um i try my best to like zoom in and see if i saw some costumes or anything secret like that but unfortunately it's simply just them in a forest when people were going crazy thinking like oh living forest is it coming back and i really do hope so if the living forest is in the movie that would be really cool because it's such an iconic stage so yes really does seem like a possibility Loving Forest might be in the film. I really hope so. I'm going to be so bummed if it's not. But guys, that's essentially all I got for y'all today. The movie is shaping up to be amazing, it seems like. I wish we could see more behind-the-scenes stuff. Since, like, the actual shooting has started, I was expecting to maybe get a picture or two every other day of what's going on. But no, apart from, like, the first day of shooting where they turned a small town in Australia to the streets of Chicago and they had, like, the Cetrion and Sindel Easter eggs, that's really all we've seen of the film in comparison to like big name superhero franchises um you're always getting you know even footage of you know big name actors practicing their roles and you know full attire and everything and for mortal kombat the reboot 2021 we've not gotten any of that and it, honestly i kind of do like that as much as i would love to see the potential costumes for the likes of scorpion some zero this cole turner character i do like this whole mystery behind not knowing it's uh it's cool to be surprised and i kind of hope it continues to be that way i really do hope so because just recently you know mortal kombat 11's dlc got leaked the day the game dropped and that combat pack announcement trailer was very underwhelming because we knew what was coming so i kind of do like this i mean just the fact that it's been about a month since my last video where we saw you know the first day of shooting to not have anything at all it's uh kind of crazy when you think of it but guys 
that's all I got for y'all today. Hopefully some of you who are not looking forward to the movie, um, these updates get you at least a bit optimistic enough for me. I went in here with uh, zero hope and now I'm, I'm starting to be very optimistic. I'm hoping for the best. Honestly, it's all I'm asking is for a great movie and I hope they deliver. But guys, what do you think? I'm very curious. Of course, if you did enjoy the video though, please take one second and drop a like on it. Subscribe for more MKLM content. Next time, I've been your host, Ben Dynasty. Guys, please take care. Stay safe. Enjoy your weekend. See you guys later. Have a good one. Peace. You see, I've been a fan of Dynasty for years now. GTA, MK, and Justice. I'm still down. Rapper meets gamer. I wonder how y'all feel now. That was just a setup. Watch it get real now. Okay, so me and Sub Zero was born in '92. And lyrically, I inherited all his fighting moves. A lot of y'all still lost. Don't have the slightest clue. The truth disappears in the smoke. Is if you fight, lose.